Hi, I am Dr. Naveen Tahsilda. I am spine surgeon working at Narayana Orthopedic Spine and Trauma Care Center. I am uh, talking on behalf of the spine department here. We are going to talk about spine injuries. As you know, there, there is a high incidence of uh, uh, accidents in our country with a lot of unregulated traffic. The incidence of uh, accidents has rampantly increased in the last few years. And because all of these injuries are high velocity injuries, injuries that happen at a high speed, uh, eventually would mean that people will come with multiple injuries in their body. And one of the most common injuries that we see are the spinal injuries. One of the most important thing that we should remember that when we encounter a patient with a spine injury on the road, you have to make sure that his spine is maintained in a neutral position, whether it is the neck or whether it is the back. You should get him on a board or a place where he can be moved from the road to the ambulance in as neutral a position as possible. You should avoid any kind of abnormal movement. And what we offer in the spine department uh, here is we evaluate the spinal injury. These can be in two groups. One with a spinal cord injury. Uh, the spinal cord injury pe people come with weakness in their legs or the hands. And there's another group of patients of spine injury who do not have any kinds of neurological problems like they don't have any weakness. All the patients with spinal cord injury, most of them would require a surgery basically to stabilize the spine. We put some screws and rods and then stabilize the spine so that we have removed the movement in the spine, which was predominantly causing the injury to the nerves. And then we also decompress the nerves so that uh, the nerve has a chance to, to recover. And there's another group of patients who do not have any neurological injury, no weakness in the legs or upper limbs. These patients can be further evaluated with an MRI uh, image. And depending on the MRI, um, some of these patients, maybe almost like I would say 50% of these patients would not require a surgery. We would give them a brace or a belt, as you would say, to stabilize the spine and then manage them like that for the next three months till the fracture heals. There may be other 50% of the patients who actually do not have a neurological injury, but there is a potential for developing neurological injury if we don't address it with a surgery. And these patients also would require surgery to stabilize the spine, a spinal instrumentation as we would say. Now coming to a certain group of spinal cord injury patients which we have operated, if they were had a severe injury to the, nerve, the nerves, which we call as a complete spinal cord injury. These patients would require an aggressive spinal rehabilitation. We should make sure that they, can, they sit on the wheelchair, they are able to sit on their own, they are able to walk on their own with the calipers. That requires a spinal rehabilitation. So I would say that our center here is well equipped to handle these injuries. There's a good rehabilitation center. We have all the infrastructure to operate on these patients like the microscope and the neuromonitoring. And uh, we are making this surgery as safe as possible and we have been giving good outcome.